Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today in this uh, app review and kind of uh, demonstration of this app, I just wanted to go over uh, how it works and uh, how it will benefit you uh, if you download it. So this will work for your iPod Touch or your iPhone. I'm not sure, probably your iPad too. Um, but what this app does, it's called Hippo Remote and there's two versions. There's a pro version and there's a light version. The light version is free of course and the pro version is around $4.99 in the app store and it just um, you don't really need the pro version uh, it just allows you to have a couple more features like if you get a call it will um, just kinda close the app and answer, like it's just uh, there's a couple more features but it's nothing to do with the actual um, app that you really need so what it allows you to do is control your Mac computer with your iPhone or iPod Touch. So with this app, uh, what you can do is uh, control, like I said, your computer. Um, you can use it, uh, use this app as a keyboard and a mouse. So it will transform your iPhone into a trackpad for your mouse and pop up the keyboard for your keyboard. So I'm just going to demonstrate this. I have ScreenFlow running. I'm going to uh, show you that screen capture and then in the corner I'm just going to have um, me with my iPhone here so that you can see that I'm actually, what, like what I'm doing, I'm moving my finger and it's actually moving the mouse. Um, so yeah, I'm going to demonstrate that now. So all you have to do is once you download the app is click on it. And you can, if you want, set up um, your own ice um, connection uh, with your uh, Mac by doing this you can go into your system preferences but first you need to uh, enable screen sharing uh, if you don't have that on this app location uh, won't work so you have to do that and then you can set up your own um, connection with your MacBook uh, just through that or you can download the hippo VNC uh, from their website um, as you can see right here, I have the one that I set up with my MacBook, and that's set up with Hippo VNC. So uh, the one with my MacBook doesn't really come up sometimes, so that's why I use the uh, the Hippo VNC one. Um, I suggest that, I guess, um, because it'll probably work more often than your actual MacBook connection. So once you have that connected, um, actually you just click on it, and you have to enter the password, so I'm going to enter that now. it'll say connecting and now you're connected to your computer so here's where the demonstration starts right now when you're connected it will show a trackpad now up here is your left click and right here is your right click as you can see on my screen something just popped up when I right clicked now when you move your finger around this little red I don't know if you can see that on the phone this little red ball will kind of follow now on your screen on the screen right now as you can see the mouse is actually moving when I move my finger like this I'll take it down to the dock scroll through sometimes it's a bit laggy but most of the time as you can see it works very good so right there that is the trackpad now I'll demonstrate the keyboard so up here in the left hand corner you click on keyboard and your keyboard will pop up. Now, actually, before I do that, I'm going to, on my screen, use this as a trackpad and go up to my spotlight. Now, I'm going to click on my keyboard, and there, that erased what was in my spotlight. And now, I'm just going to do a search. Oops. Now, I'm just going to actually... Um, go down here to my text edit open that up I guess and now that I'm in text edit uh, I'm going to use my keyboard so to demonstrate this um, I'll just type some things in
and there you go that's a demonstration so as you can see it actually works um, another thing uh, that you can do with this is you can split the screen so that you have your trackpad here and you are able to type with this at the same time so that's probably beneficial for some people so um, other than that you can uh, use your arrow keys your page up and down delete tab uh, stuff like that uh, your function keys home and end print screen um, so it'll basically do everything that you need it to do um, so that is basically the demonstration for this um, what I'm gonna be using this for mostly is at night I usually um, instead of watching DVDs or my TV I just put on Hulu and uh, I use I have an Apple remote so I can uh, control my Hulu desktop with the Apple remote but when I'm done and I don't want to get up out of bed and shut off my computer I just hold in the play button on my Apple remote and that puts my computer to sleep so in the morning if I don't really want to get up but I want to listen to music or something on my iPhone um, on my iTunes all I need to do now is uh, wake my computer up with my Apple remote and since I have a password protection on um, I have to enter a password to unlock my computer from sleep so what I can do now is connect to this application and type in my password and that way I will be able to basically navigate through my computer while in my bed and not have to do anything so that's the main feature that I was looking for in an app like this so I just wanted to show you that today uh, so the light version is what I have and that's all you need if you just wanna use it to control your computer uh, with the trackpad and the keyboard and it's free in the Apple Store uh, I believe it's called Hippo Remote you'll find it if you just type in that and it's the light version so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye